Yes, uh, uh, Lord Vader, Mr. Vader, Emperor Vader, whatever you are, just uh, <laughs> give me a call back. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, gosh. Hopefully he's around. Maybe it's Saturday. What's he doing? That boy, he, he's under lockdown. He can't go no place. Let's see what happens. Uh, I guess he don't know this number. That's what it is. I bet. Uh Okay. Hello. That's life. Can't follow instructions. This oh, here we go. Hello, Moto. Okay. Yo. Hey. Where, 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 uh, where are you at? Where I usually am at. I'm in there. In my place in Atlanta. Oh, oh no! I thought. Never mind. Uh, uh, never mind. Yo, what's the what, what's with the? I got that message before. You know that that Darth Vader thing, man. That never mind. Let, let, let me leave that alone. Okay. Uh, let's let's leave that. No, alone. no, no. Spit, spit it out. Spit it out. I've heard from other people. You know. So what's up? What 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 what, what are your thoughts? Well, I'm just. Oh, no, boy, message. Yeah. Let, let me see. I think I saw that. I think I saw that movie. 1977 or something like that? Well, uh, what, what, do you have some sort of yeah, fond remembrance of the 70s? What's I going on? Yeah, you got that right. 77. Yeah. Yeah, I, me I remember. See, I saw it in the afternoon show, man, in, in New Jersey, actually. Uh, uh, whatever. A, a mall when they had malls. I don't have, think they had malls anymore. I don't know. Oh, uh, no, yeah. I, um, I saw it uh Midtown. Um, I think I saw the Midtown, and then later on in the evening, I went back to my, to my place in Queens and saw it in Queens the same same day. Oh, uh, now, now I understand why that's your ringtone, or rather your your answer machine. Thing. Never mind, I won't go anywhere on that. I, I'm not going to say anything. I'll leave it alone. Look, there's, <laughs> more, there's more important things happening in the world. Let me explain something to you, man. Now, you know, you send me, you, you know, you send me the Rolling Stone things all the time and think, well... You know, my, my, I met my best friend. You know, I'm quarantined at my best friend's house in, in in Missouri here, and he gets, you know, he gets Rolling Stone. You know, the, he gets the actual uh -huh. magazine. So he gets it. I'm looking here. You know, they got some some um, some guy in black called Little Babies Rising, a rap star, and the sound of rebellion. You know this guy, Little Baby. Um, I, I've heard of him. You know, I, I, I don't, I'm not into these these rappers, man. I everybody's a little, you know. Oh, okay. So you, I see you still. But it also says Trump's plot against America. Will a GOP rig the vote? Oh, please. I ain't going to say nothing about that. Of course. Look, it's politics. They're supposed to do what they're supposed to do. If they, you, you know, who have, um, who was it? Uh, 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 my girl, Tulsi Gabbard. She had a, she had a plan to deal with the, to deal with uh, voter fraud. Uh, the other cat, uh, Andrew Yang, had to deal with the democracy Bucks or whatever had it with voter fraud, and the DNC ain't going to do the Democrats. They ain't taking that stuff up. And, sp and then you have the weighted voting that everybody's talking about. So those those people won't do anything else. So the Republicans should rig the election. They did. It's there. It's there. They they replace machines and they, they get the contracts. So they should rig the election. What's what's they what they what's the beef? <laughs> you had chance to to unrig the election for four years or whatever it is. They ain't unrig it. I don't want to hear. But that's not the news. They got, the, you know how to get these these lists in Rolling Stone. The 40 greatest protest songs. Now you know. Let me ask you before I even start, because I had a conversation with, 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 with um, who was I talking? I think I was talking to Steve. I think I was talking to Steve Marshall. You know Steve, don't you? you know, yeah, yeah. The boys and girls. Yeah. Of course, you know Steve. Boys and girls. I think we were, I think it was him. Yeah, we were 
was, I think it was him, or maybe it was Rodney Black. I don't know. Crave Unity, Crave Unity, Boys and Girls, New Book Group, they're all one to me. They're the same, same thing. But I was telling him the great, I was, so I asked him, what, what do you think the greatest protest song was? Or not? He said, well, anyway, what's your top thing? And of course he mentioned, everybody mentions uh, Marvin Gaye, you know what I mean? Then he mentioned, I think, uh, uh, Isaac Brothers Fight the Power. Um, or not Isaac Brothers, but yeah, they, they did mention Isaac Brothers, but he also met, mentioned um, Public Enemy, Fight the Power. So who, who do you have on your list? You know what? In the last few years, um, I think I remember telling you about uh, my issue with my my son was traveling. Uh, you know, we're, we're going down through the South and mm. My son, all he wanted to hear was uh, uh, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, so I think, all right, well, that's our opportunity. Um, and I, I told you, like, 8 o'clock in the morning, we're leaving New Orleans to go to visit <laughs> my daughter in Houston. And, uh, you know, 8 o'clock in the morning, he wants to put on Rage Against the Machine. I'm like, dude, now we can't do this. I don't want to be angry at 8 o'clock in the morning, man. No, let's hold up. But... I gotta say, and I don't know if it's an actual um, protest song, but Pistol Grip Pump by Rage Against the Machine. What's it called? Pistol Grip Pump. Crystal? Pistol, like a pistol, like a gun. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Pistol Grip. Yeah, Yeah, okay, Pistol Grip what? I don't know the song. Pistol Grip what? Pistol Grip Pump. Pump, okay, yeah, okay. Pistol Grip Pump. All right, I got you. All right, okay. Yeah. And it's it's. I think it's now. I I don't know the original. I think they took that from some because they did some some songs from other rappers or whatever. But I I just like the way that they put that song out. Mm. Um, it's like man, it's just a heavy rock, you know, uh, rock rap uh, funk kind of song. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that says something. Okay. Well, let's let's get right let's get right into it then, because uh, because so I go to the thing now, and, and as I read through the the list, uh, first they got you know Woody Guthrie. Okay, all you fascists. Okay, that's not not well, number one, but that's what they got first. That's the first thing I see. Right. They got Strange Fruit, Billy Holiday, We Shall Overcome, Pete Seeger. The Lonesome Death of Hattie Carroll, Bob Dylan. Okay, they got Bobby in there. They got Mr. Dylan in. The Mr. Uh, what did what did he win? The 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 what's the the diminutions guy? Where's that? Uh, uh, Rhodes. The Rhodes. Not Rhodes. Not who's the dynamite guy? The the the, the peace prize. Nobel. He had a Nobel guy. Okay, he won a Nobel. Um, literary, whatever it is. And I, I think he deserved it. Whatever. Mississippi. Goddamn Nina Simone. Of course, you know. Uh, you, you know, you know. Um, to, but to your point, to your your question, I will say, Sly stand. Oh, that stand. song. Okay, of course, yeah. That song was a great song. You know, right. so now, I, as, I, as I've even spoken with you before, that album is like the best album in music history. <laughs> and that's, of course, that's debatable. But y'all, that. It's up there. Almost every song on that album yeah. resonated with so many people. Yeah, groundbreaking. Yes, yeah, that's true. That's yeah, that's yeah. absolutely true. Yeah, you know? it's absolutely, absolutely true. And especially for its time. Actually, when you think of for the time, for the time period that it, it did its thing. Yeah, I, I, I'd have to agree with you if you was if you was to put time periods and something with something the whole album with something come out, then that was it. Because even Marvin's, you know, what's going on. I understand, it, but the time period had a lot of stuff happening, you know, and it, it's, don't get me wrong, it's, Mom is great, but but when, when Sly came out, there was nobody else doing that at, at all, you know, there's no avalanche. In fact, you know, if you want to put it that way, Mom is a little behind, you know, behind the ball, you know, there's a lot of protests happened before that that album came out, but we won't get into that. Let me keep on going. But, but, I, but I think that was, a, that was a Motown thing because Motown yeah, true, started right. to come out after That's Sly, true. Um, and maybe James Brown kind of maybe um, ignited something mm. during that era. So yeah, I, James Brown, Sly, and then Motown seemed like okay, 
You know, yeah. Stevie started putting out yeah. songs. Marvin yeah. Gaye started putting out songs. Yeah. You know, um, uh, Norman Whitfield, who was the producer for The Temptations, he was, you know, because at that time, um, uh, uh, they brought in Dennis Edwards, who had replaced um, David Ruffin. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was yeah. a whole different yeah, well, dynamic that, of Motown after, you know, 69, yeah, 70. Yeah, that, that was after that. But yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, it was Barry pushed everything, you know, held everything up. But remember, Stevie still, Stevie, early in that, Stevie had, you know, blown in the wind at least, you know, but that was a cover, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you're right, you're right. But it wasn't until, because remember, they, they were really producer driven. That that whole thing is producer driven. So until Norman Whitfield and them, them came in, you know, then they, they couldn't do anything. Okay, wait, let me keep on going. Uh, a change is going to come, Sam oh, Cooke, of course. So. But, I, but I'll be remiss if not, not mentioning um, Curtis Mayfield. Oh, oh, I have him on my list. Don't worry, I, we, we're going to get to that. Just a second. We're going to get oh, to that in a second. We're going to okay. get to that. Right? <laughs> uh, I ain't marching no more. Phil Oaks, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud, James Brown. Uh, respect Aretha Franklin, Fortunate Son, Creed's Crew. Fortunate Son is really good. Um, uh, it's because I'm Black Cy Johnson, 1969. It's because I'm Black. Chicago born. I don't know this one. Uh, Mississippi born Chicago soul singer Cy Johnson poured out of his desperation on the slow burn seven minute lament. Something is holding me back. Is it because I'm Black? He sings uh, touching and raw nerve. He sings touching and raw nerve. That's never healed. Do you, do you know that one? I don't know that one. It's, no, not familiar with that. Yeah. I give peace a chance. You know, that's, you know, that, uh, um, uh, why do you on the moon? Hey, Gil Scott. There we go. Oh, Gil, Gil Scott. Scott. Yeah. 19, that was uh, 1970. Okay. We can just Ohio. Yeah. 1970, Ohio. Of course, you know, this, the, the Isley brothers, a cover version of that one, you know, well, but we, of course, all right, there's Cosby Stills, Nash, and, and Young. You know, you know, I don't know if I've actually heard the Isley Brothers versions <sighs> of, uh, of that song. Oh, I man, it's a great know, album. It's a, it's a great album. It's a great album. I forgot what else on there, but I just know it's a great album. It was their protest album, actually, you know, if you want to look at it that way. I'll have to look. look don't you got your computer? Look it up. Look up, you know, Isley Brothers, that I, album. Uh, Man, I gotta get up. Oh my gosh! You gotta get up. I gotta get up. <laughs> how far? How far is your computer? Come on, All man. Right. Yo, calm down, relax. <laughs> oh, now, now you go. Now you go pull the Nancy Pelosi thing on me, huh? <laughs> oh, calm down, relax. Why? Why are you looking for your computer there? Oh, of course, uh, Edwin Star War. You know. And I would say yeah. the follow-up yeah. song too. The follow again, I think a lot of stuff goes back to to Sly. Um, I, okay. I gotta say, he had to be the uh, what progenitor of, of the whole movement, the whole Motown thing. Okay, yeah, whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, look, look, look. We we we're not gonna yeah. debate this. Okay, it's, just, it's the times. Okay, I understand. But you, you know, look. I'm not gonna debate the Sly thing. I gave you the Sly props already. I'm a Sly. I saw oh, I saw Sly live at the Apollo Theater. I know Sly. Blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm there. <laughs> okay. Uh, big yellow, uh, big uh, yellow taxi. Uh, I'm looking for um, Ohio. By Ice Ice uh, Brothers. It's on an album. I forgot what the album. Maybe maybe the same album that has uh, Fight the Power on it. I'm not really sure. Uh, Any anyway, uh, big yellow taxi. Joni Mitchell. Don't know that one. Well, I, I do know that one actually. I know that one. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. You got the thing there. Hold on. Let me get through this because it's 40 of them. I'm going to get through this. Impeach the President, the Honey Dippers. You know that one? No. Okay. Then we get to Marvin Gaye. What's going on? Because he's going in, in order of, of uh, what do you call it? Uh, dates. Then we go with Marvin Gaye. What's going on? Uh, uh, Stevie Wonder, you haven't done nothing. Uh, uh, okay, now now we should go to now. Now, what do you have on? Uh, well, wait a second. They get the Bob Marley here. Them Billy food, but we hungry. Why do they have that there? They have Bob Marley, but Billy food, we ain't hungry. I'm, I don't know why they don't have. I don't see Redemption song here, but they have that. Okay, fine. Okay, what do you got for Ohio? Ohio, but from the Isaac Brothers there. Okay, yeah. so I pulled up on YouTube. Um, 
What what year? It's a um, it's a comp- compilation. It's Ohio and Machine Gun, so they're doing mm-hmm. like a medley. Okay, but it's on an album. I got, that's right. That's exactly oh. right. That's right. But it's on yeah, an album. Okay. I was trying to figure out the other tracks on that album since you're in front of a computer. You know. Okay. Anyway, you keep on looking. Let me get Oh, oh, Bond is your name of the album. Yeah, the name of the album. What what did, what are the other songs on the album? That, that okay. machine gun in Ohio. Brothers, Ohio machine gun. Uh, That's the medley because they did it in, in response to the uh, to the Ohio State thing, but also to the um, uh, Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson State. Could they happen within a week of each other? Something like that. In those uh, instances. Old bondage up yours. X ray specs. I don't know what that is. Nineteen seventy seven. Uh, sing if you're glad to be gay. Tom Robinson Band, 1978. The Message, Grandmaster Flash and Furious Five, The Message. How's that a protest song? I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's see. What is this? Born to, born to Die. Um, okay. Track listing, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I, I turned you on. Okay. Born to Die Not at it. MDC, 1982. Uh, F the Police, uh, NWA. No, I can't say it all because I'm... I guess I could say I'm, I'm quoting, I'm quoting, I'm quoting the thing, I guess. But, you know, I don't curse. It's, 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 it's my birthday and, and New Year's, then I can curse. But, but you know, after the police, leave the ice cube in the rest of the people. Um, right after you have, uh, that was in 88, then 89, we had Fight the Power. Okay, now what, what did you, oh, here's, here's, oh, here we go. We can Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name of. They put that, they list that. So, but but your song you like okay. So what, what do they have? What's what's the track list on that? On that, what's the name of the album? What's the track list? Because I can clearly see the album. I'm I'm actually trying to. Are you still looking? Find it on the um. Go to the Wikipedia. What came up, the, what came up on this YouTube is called the Isley Brothers, and it says called Giving It Back. No, no. And I'm trying to find um. No, no. Listen, listen, listen. Go to Wikipedia. They have track listed. Don't go to well, YouTube. Oh. Just gonna come on. Why are you on YouTube? Hey. Okay. No, 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 no. I was because I went to find the song. Okay. okay so I I just found it. Calm down. Relax. Uh, <laughs> it says okay. It's a nice Stop pelosing me. I want to stop Pelosiing me. I'm I'm not affected by Pelosi's pheromones like all those other people. <laughs> <laughs> she must got some. Oh, that, oh, that's what she, oh, that's what she said. I didn't really know that that that's, that was like her uh, tagline. Yeah, she, she did. She did it recently to some to, to some news person. You know, and and I look I look at Pelosi. I look at Pelosi and uh, and what's the other what's the other woman? Uh, uh, the the Hill woman. Uh, uh, Hillary Clinton. They must have really powerful pheromones because all them boys be falling in line to them. Unbelievable. But okay, what what what, what, what did they have? Did you find it? Okay, so the album is called Giving It Back. That's it, yeah. Okay. It's supposedly the ninth album is released in 71. Okay, that's what I'm, okay, uh-huh. Okay, right. Okay, uh, let's see, I'm trying to find a track. Okay, so it's the Ohio and Machine Gun medley. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, they do James Taylor's Fire and Rain. They do Bob Dylan's Late Lady Lay. Mm-hmm. That's a oh, good one. They do uh, Spill the Mind. What? They oh was, my gosh! Was, wait, wait, wait! Go back, go back. Lay, 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 lay. I love that the way they do it. And what's the next one? Uh, spill the wine. Spill the wine. Oh yeah! Oh war, war. Oh yeah, that's right. War got protests. So how come war's not? Okay, maybe I get to it. no war. Oh, go ahead. Just, oh man, this is all new stuff to me, man. I, oh man, you got me. Hit the, oh, man, wow! I didn't know that they did like. Go, come on! Wow. What, 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 what was my position? What was my position when I met you? Come on! What was what's my title? Let me hear it. Huh? Music and Arts Director at WBAI. Thank you so much. Now, if I'm, I'm not at BAI, this is different than being a, a, a music director at some old country station or some jazz station or some classical station. I got a broad range of, of you know, da, da, da. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Spill the wine and what else? I love war. Well, actually, they do a couple of Steven Still songs. What's the name? Give me the name. Give me the name. I uh, love the one you're with. That's right. Oh, that's the one. Oh, I love that one. I love the one you're with. And they do a Bill Withers song called Cold Baloney. Yeah, Cold Baloney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
and that's about yeah, it. Oh man, this is a uh, that's a monster album, man. I'm mean, just such that's an incredible album, man. I used to play that on radio all the time. Not, not I used to play that when I was in my uh, vari- variations in blacks, my college radio program at, at RSU over there at Rutgers. You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, okay, but um, what 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 what? That's that's it, right? Yeah, because back then so they basically uh, seven yeah seven songs on that album. Yeah, then most of them had six or seven songs on the album back then. But hey, man, you should get that. I'm telling you, that's a great, that's a great, great, great album. One, one, wonderful. Let me keep on going here. Uh, was that uh, killer name of killer name of Rage Against the Machine? Right, feel feels blind. Bikini kill. Uh, ride the fence. The coop. American Skin, 41 Shots. Oh, Bruce Springs. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You know what I remember of 41 Shots that? Because he, in the album, maybe that one, he, he says Mont Haven. He says the Mont Haven. He, he said, the, but, but mm. people don't know, Mont Haven means oh. the Mont Haven section of the Bronx, which is the South Bronx for real. That's where I grew up, Mont Haven section of the Bronx. You know, uh. it, you know, my, it, it, in the, um, you know, the, never mind. It's, it's, that was authentic. When he when I said that, oh that boy, no. I said, oh, Bruce, he know the boss is the boss. He know. Good poet. Um, let me see, let me uh, uh American American Idiot. Uh, uh Green Day. Don't know. Yeah, that was um uh, yeah, uh, I remember that. Yeah, that was at the uh, right after the Amadou um Diallo shooting. Okay. I remember that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh two thousand four. Yeah, oh, that's why I don't know it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any, anything after two thousand, anything after two thousand three is gonna have a problem because I, I left the states in two thousand three. So this is two thousand four that came out. All right, Kendrick Lamar, two thousand fifteen. Freedom, Beyonce featuring Kendrick Lamar, two thousand sixteen. A Mexican Chef, somebody Rubino's, uh, two thousand sixteen. Don't shoot, Shay Diamond, two thousand nineteen. F FTP, Y, and this is by YG twenty twenty. I can't breathe. Her, you know, H E R, uh, twenty twenty. Uh, Black I Lives. Yes, yeah, she's she's fierce. I, I like her. Yeah, yeah, I saw some on her, but I, I'm, 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 I, you know, I hear you. Uh, Black Lives Matter. I, 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 I will say that, um, and I don't even know if I should even admit this, but I think even Beyonce has um, done some politically sounding songs that uh, may not. Well, she's, much, uh, well, she's got to use she's got to use category a catalog, so you know that's good. Black Lives Matter, TJ times six, uh, 2020, 2020 riots. How many times? Trey songs, Trey songs, twenty twenty. Uh, the bigger picture, little baby, twenty twenty. Oh, oh, forget that, dude. No, no, you and I are both Prince fanatics. All right, so. Oh, okay, hold, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hey, hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. This is the list. I keep on telling you, this is the list from Rolling Stone. Don't you understand? The contributors are Jonathan Bernstein, oh, yeah, Jonathan Stone, Bernstein, yeah. Young, Lily Roll, yeah, uh, fake hippies, yeah, da- David Brown, somebody else, Susan Esposito, <laughs> Andy Green, Corey Rowe. Chris, yeah. whoever, blah, 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 uh, Angie, somebody, yeah. Rob, somebody, Hank, somebody, Simon, somebody. Those are the ones that contributed to this. No, no, we got to understand. It's Rolling Stone. I'm telling you, it's Rolling Stone magazine, you know, the book, the da, 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 da. You know, and the list, it's only 40. Come on now. You know, they're going to do it. But here's what they missed. <laughs> now, now you can go to what you missed. First of all, Curtis Mayfield. If you ain't got Curtis Mayfield on your fist and you're going to go through all of other people in the 60s, whatever, Curtis Mayfield, look, you just, the list is, is null and void if you ain't got no Curtis Mayfield. What else did you have? I'm just mentioning that. Yeah, I, I get it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course. Uh, I, I got to say that as far as protest songs, yeah, Curtis preceded uh, James Brown. He preceded um, everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. He, he was that guy. Yeah, yeah. you know, um, uh, uh, they had Bruce Springsteen. Um, Bob Marley redemption song. I don't know how was that that thing, but okay. Not to have Tracy Chapman uh, or even Joan Armitage is kind of strange, but you know, I'll leave that alone. Who else? Who else you got? Who else you got before I tell you my number one? So say again. But with Joan Armour trading, I don't think that she had um, a, a, a hit. I mean, she was a um, yeah, she was a. Um, a folk singer, but yeah, right. she didn't have any kind of like name recognition or any yeah. significant, uh, right. to, to my mind, any song. Um, I, I came to her late, 
I got you. I got you. I got you. Like I never heard of her like early on. Yeah, I got you. No, I, I know her from from like again my college days. But Tracy Chapman, of course, you know I don't know why they missed her. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, what, what else did they miss on your thing? Because you know my, but I don't know if you know my my all time the number one protest song ever. But go ahead. What do you What do you have? No, 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 no. What, what else do you have that they missed on their list? I mean, you mentioned you mentioned Prince. Prince got a bunch of protest stuff to be done, but who else? And I know, I know, I know they missed your they missed they missed the funk and tears. I know you George Clinton. I know you got something George Clinton in your head. Yeah, because you know you're a funk tear from the the funk the funk tear. You're, you're the funky funk a funk a funk a tear. Oh, that's right. They sent me some. Hold on a second. I got a package. I got a couple of packages. Let me open this one. This I mean, they, she did do a, quite a few, yeah. I guess, quote unquote, protest songs in this early 70s as, as Funkadelic, uh, especially his uh, album, um, uh, America Eats Young. There you go. Man, I got a, I got I got a box, man. I love the modern world, man. I got something from uh, where is this from? Sports Teak. That's from Sports Teak. Okay, I'm opening a box here. I'm still looking for. I think it comes out seventy two, seventy three. Cosmic Slot comes out, oh, and that garners a uh, new generation of listeners. Um, yeah. And I wasn't on I wasn't on board yet until seventy five. Now seventy four. They come out with, uh, uh, what's the album? Uh, do, 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 do. Well, the Parliament album they come out with is uh, Up for the Downstroke. Up for the and Downstroke. Uh, Everybody get up. Boom, boom, boom. And the, Funkadel the Funkadelic album is. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Hey, just, just, uh, don't uh, sing, man. Uh, don't uh, even hum. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. I got to get, get back on my computer. I'm, I'm losing my. No, we 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 we, go, we actually going to end this. We don't want to bore. We don't, we don't want to bore me or other people. But I just got I got a package here. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. I got another package. Here. I'm gonna oh, hold on a second, man. Okay, okay. I got standing oh, on the verge. Look what standing, standing on the verge. Yeah. That was the album. Yeah. the seventy four album. Yeah, yeah that was the. Uh, hey man, I got I got a, I got my new I got urban ears. You know, I have my other urban ears that's sort of big and clunky, and I got this new sports urban ears. You know, I just got it in the mail. I'm gonna open. I'm I'm um. I'm, I'm being modern. I'm unboxing. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. But, of course um, you don't. Go ahead. That's because that's because you're not hit, man. You're you're back there in the seventies with your Darth Vader. Uh, the, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I I saw Star Wars twice in one day. You know, kind of thing. <laughs> Let me see this urban is. You know. So listen, man. I just wanted to go because I know that you usually send me. Rolling Stone things. That's what, you know, that's what kept me, you know, in South Africa, kept me a thing. Oh, this urban is kind of interesting. So anyway, this is supposed to be, uh, what I, I, this is the lightweight. I got this only because my other urban ears are sort of heavy, but I like covering my entire ear. Oh, they gave me a nice little pouch here. Yeah, oh, they gave okay. me a pouch. What the heck is this? Oh, what, what is this? I don't know. I got to figure this out. I guess there's a, you got to charge it on the thing. What is this? Oh. You, you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm have to find. Ooh, you, you know, our, our other guy that we don't talk of too much, the the, the ex Terrence Trent Darby. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah. Put, oh, yeah. You know, he's followed him over the years. Um, now, as far as protest songs, I mean, he he says his stuff. Oh. Uh, but yeah. But Terrence, he just he was so unique. He has a good, you know, I love. Uh, he has a really good voice, and like that. So. You know, he don't get, he don't get, you're right, he don't get the props he need to get. But then again, if you change your name 25 times, what can you say, man? I don't know. Well, what, what, what Prince did, it. I mean, you know, he, he well, won the, the, come the, the on. symbol. And no, all, you know. but, but Prince is something else. So, oh, this is really light. This is really light. I got to figure this out, man. I got some, some thing, I got to figure this out. I don't even know how to wear it, man. I guess you put it, put it over your back or something like that. and plug. I don't like ear pluggy things, but I got this. Because I'm gonna be traveling, I'm gonna be traveling, and I didn't, I didn't want to anyway. I have to figure this out. I don't like stuff in my ears, 
but I have to travel at the end of the year, so I want to be really light on my, because if I have some in my ear a long time, you know, when I say travel, I'm taking a train, I'm taking a train from Chicago, Car from Chicago to I know you want to go to Chicago to Portland. Yeah, no, not Portland. No, 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 Seattle. It's gonna go to, it's gonna go to Seattle. Hey, 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 hey. Um, let me finish my thing. It's gonna be Seattle. Then I go across the border to to Vancouver. But then I got the five day train ride from Vancouver to Toronto. It's the first one of the year. They did, they did like that. Anyway, look on that. I'll talk to you another time, man. Thanks for I think when when in fact, you know when I'll call you? I'm gonna call you when the t shirt come in. You know what I'm talking about too. Your 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 All gift. Right. Your gift to the I don't know what I can't call myself those guys. Anyway, your gift. All right. So I'll, I'll talk to you later, man. Hey, thanks for taking this time. All right, man. Behave yourself. Now, wait a second. I didn't tell you my my all time number one song. I forgot. You ready? I already revealed it to what's what's name. Ready for this? Oh, he's tough. Okay. Is it Marvin, Marvin Gaye? What's going on? No, no, it's not Marvin. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? All right. Peter Tosh. A thing called Fools Die. Fools Die by Peter Tosh. Check it out. Uh, Listen to those lyrics. Just everything that's done on it. Unbelievable song. And it comes, you know, Marvin got the album going on. You know, and when he says what's going on, it's a lot of things. But just, just listen to Peter Tosh, Fools Die. You won't be disappointed, and you then I you'll know why I'm I was I, you know why you know what my my musical you know my head is how I know all this stuff right and I left out a bunch of African stuff but that's my old favorite my favorite thing all right man I'll check you later all right behave yourself. <laughs>